What's going on you guys? Welcome back to EP09. So we're going to start off with some news from the Masters Olympia. The prize money has been announced with a total payout of $229,000. Now the last Masters competition was held in 2012 where Dexter Jackson took home the victory and a cool $75,000. But here's the thing. There was only four divisions at the 2012 Masters Olympia. There are 10 divisions in the 2023 Masters Olympia, and there's no breakdown of what each division will be paid as of yet. But money talks in competitions these days. Do you think Dexter Jackson is going to get out of bed for $75,000 and lay his health on the line again? <laughs> I doubt it. Now, one question that came up was surrounding Phil Heath doing the Masters, because if you look at Phil right now, he's in great shape, still looks big, and I'm telling you, if he was to just jump back on a cycle, a really decent one, I think he would just blow up again in no time. But unfortunately, Phil does not meet the minimum age requirement. You need to be 45 years old in the open, and Phil is just shy at 44 years old. Now, he may do it again next year, but... As for who else might make this show, you know, really worth watching for the fans, I know like Phil Klahar has said that he's going to do it so far, but we'll see when the official competitors list comes out exactly who's going to be in the show. So we won't see Phil Heath on stage this year, but we will see Derek Lunsford at the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing in May, as well as a fair few other top pros. It's a pretty stellar lineup, you know, as always. Derek isn't planning on doing any guest posings beyond the Pittsburgh Pro, but he is planning on a fair few public appearances, which I know Derek really enjoys doing, but it's also a very smart move for him too. Not only does the Olympia look for the best physique, but as the Olympia is a business, the more the champion is putting themselves out there, the better it is for business, and I guarantee Derek will be doing more public appearances than Hottie Chupin this year. Big Rami was actually criticized in 2020 for his lack of public appearances and social media posts, while Brandon Curry was praised for being a great ambassador to the sport, you know, while he was the reigning champion in 2019. Now, speaking strictly as a fan, I do think the reigning Mr. Olympia should be putting themselves out there more and promoting the sport, and you know, I want to see that as a fan. So Derek is only making himself look better in the eyes of the Federation and the Olympia. Now, of course, he also has the physique to back it up. As long as Derek gains that muscle maturity he needs through the front shots, I think his chances to win in 2023 are only going up from here. So another guy looking for a win in 2023 is Justin Shire, who just announced the start of his prep for his pro debut. Justin really hit the ground running when he showed up with a very impressive physique at the 2021 NPC Nationals where he won his pro card, and he's been working meticulously since then to bring a whole new package to the pro stage. Justin is well known to be very methodical in his training, he's always very mindful of every set, every rep, and it shows in these latest physique updates and training videos. When he leans down, he's got a great X-frame, tiny waist, feathered quads, very symmetrical. There's a lot of people that have been waiting for this announcement, and he's got a big hype train behind him right now. Now, Justin didn't say which show he's actually prepping for, so stay tuned for some more updates. So here's a guy that came across my radar in Classic Physique that I haven't seen anybody talking about yet. Junior Yavorsky. I did my best, you guys. He recently competed in the 2022 Olympia, where he didn't end up placing, but I wouldn't sleep on this guy in the Arnold Classic. He brought some pretty respectable conditioning to the Olympia stage, and he has a pretty good classic physique overall. He's got really low lat insertions. Now, he does fall short in the triceps department a bit, and his legs could come up in size from the back especially, but his front double bicep is a fantastic shot. And like I said, his conditioning is pretty damn good. He's got really deep cuts to the quads in the front. So, how does he stack up in a smaller lineup on the Arnold stage as compared to the Olympia? Well, he does look like he's going to show up in shape, and if some other key guys show up and come in off, he just might be able to jump up a couple of spots. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Junior on the stage at the Arnold this year. Anyway, that's it for me in this video, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to EP09. Be sure to like and subscribe.